Okay. Hi, hi, you guys. It's Yvonne. I'm at the thrift store. I'm at Life Network Family Thrift Store. So let's go inside and see if we can save some money, make some money, have a little fun. I'll see you inside. So they have a little rack outside on this beautiful day. It's about 50-ish, but we are going to get some more snow. <laughs> Probably one more till the season's over. But again, you guys, I'm in the low country, so it's never that bad. And there's some nice patio furniture. Look at that. Isn't that cute? $60 for all of it. Wow, that's nice. No, wait a minute. $60 for three pieces. I wonder why they didn't put it all together. Oh, that's missing a top glass. $20 for that. That's not a problem. Carson's chair. Someone leave up that with fabric. Kind of kind of eye cat fabric, sort of. Ooh, somebody should upcycle that. <laughs> That's a cute little 90s thing, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, we'll go on inside, you guys. Working my way over to jewelry. I'm stopping here. I'm definitely getting this paperweight. Now, it is $8.99, but it's so cool. All the planets are marked. I'd love to get these for you guys, but they're $14.99, and that's about all they sell for, right? $15, $20. I would love to, but I couldn't give you guys a good deal, so I'll have to leave those be. Okay, so here's the some of the jewelry. Oh man, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. Okay. That's new stuff, new stuff. That's fun right there, though. The big purple wooden thing. Okay, now that's interesting. $4.99, let's get that. That one's a little more interesting, isn't it? I mean, this one's kind of cute, too. But this one has more appeal. So look at that. Oh, someone made a beaded. Nice. Oh, and another one. Look at this one. <laughs> nice, huh? Fun stuff. This looks like an 80s, 90s, like Sarah Coventry or something like that. Oh, wait a minute. I see. 1928. Okay. They do, like, vintage-inspired stuff and antique-inspired stuff. That company does. I used to know who owned it. Okay, I like that for me. Oh, it's eight ninety nine though. Look at that Drake chain mail though. Darn. I don't want to pay that much. You guys know I'm thrifting. So, stuff on the cheap. That's a nice little vintage piece too. Let's see. That's interesting. Two ninety nine. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? That might be vintage. That might be horse hair. See those sold at the Western stores. Okay, these are all kind of new things or hand assembled. That looks like you could put a perfume cloth in it. Do you smell good? Some jewelry bags. Are these? <laughs> I know these are goofy. Like Claire's or something, but I like the geometric shape of it. It's kind of fun. These bangles all look good together, don't they? And this, let's see if that's a vintage one. No, it's an expansion, it's not vintage. Okay. I do want these. Let's go find the other jewelry counter. Oh, what is that? A religious item. Thomas Kincaid. Tourist. Navajo or indigenous stuff. That's the more affordable. I'll say it like that. Wine stopper. I have no idea what that is. Hmm. Okay. 
vintage cutout doll. You kind of like that horse. Diamond iron. Iron on. Oh. Decorate something. Okay. Here's their lockup jewelry case so you know higher end stuff. It's so hard to see in here though. Oh my goodness, look at that ring though. That one with the amber. How much is that? $45. That's a good deal though. Goodness. That's a good deal. I wonder what size that is. I like that. I might get that out for myself. <laughs> ah! Well, this is the shelf. Besides the showcases, these are the shelves they like the most. Oh! There! How much are you? Uh, that's a lot. They don't sell for that much more, but I'll go ahead and get it because. I'm pretty sure somebody will want that. I'll make a few bucks on it. That's interesting. Bill Campbell kind of style, huh? No more King, $7.99. It's not too bad because it's nice. It's a nice piece. <laughs> oh, it's cracked, but I just still want to look at it. Darn, I wish that wasn't cracked. You're so cute. Cutie pie. $14.99 for that, you guys. It's a lovely carved box, too. Not sure how old it is. I have to flip it over. Wait a minute. You guys told me that this is a thing. Get a grip. <laughs> oh, it's just some kind of advertisement. Huh. $1.99. A lot of Coke stuff down there. I don't do too bad with it. Look at this advertisement type stuff. It's kind of interesting. That would be for your serious collector. It's a dot com. Okay, that would be for your serious collector. I don't know. I mean, it's unique. It's not that old, though. Let me think about all that. <laughs> yeah, I need to go through that and think about some of that. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Look, you guys. That is super funny. I got a friend. I, I always say this when I see Oreo stuff, and I can't remember who it is. I think it's Meriwether Market. I think it's Mary that loves her Oreos. <laughs> It really does look that practical, though. I've been selling the mugs out of my booth. Mug life is for real. You know, if it's not a high-end mug, but it's cool, you know, and don't overprice it, it's a pretty easy flip out of a booth. I'm a little more cautious when it comes to, like, on eBay because shipping a mug is going to be at least eight dollars and that's if you use the FOMO method so you know it's got to be a little bit higher in mug, highly desirable. So nothing over here looks, there's some artisan pottery, not tickling me too much. That, but that looks new. Yes, it is. I liked it though. It wasn't bad. Alright, I haven't been here for a while. Where did they put the knickknack aisle? My goodness. Maybe it's just on the end caps. Okay, you're cute. $3.99. Purple and red is what's on sale. You're a cute little wooden thing. All right, let me find the knickknack aisle. Found it. <laughs> okay. I see Snoopy. It looks broken though. Oh, I like these iconic places. Don't see anything. 
thing. Oh, look at you. Dollar forty nine. <laughs> it's kind of cute. That's soap. That's soap. A little Zuni style soap. Cigar box. That look. That looks almost vintage. It's hard to tell though because um, snow globes. Even when you go like to a gift shop when you're traveling, sometimes the snow globes are made very retro looking. So it's kind of hard to tell if it's a true retro one or not. Okay, I don't see anything there, but having fun looking. All right, you guys, we're gonna flip around. Some more behind us. Sometimes these are plastic, sometimes these are glass. I think it's from the Disney World or Disneyland, one of those resorts. And all of that is just pressed glass. But there's that, I always love these. I bought one for myself. Mine has, uh, well that is silver. It's just silver and gold or turning. And mine's more frosted. It's just pretty. Resale value is not a lot or anything, you guys. I did, while I was waiting my turn to come here, once I found it, I did kind of cruise through photos and stuff. But man, I mean, artwork, but man, very expensive. I mean, like, priced more than what, you know, at home goods. So. <laughs> it's getting rough out here, you guys. <laughs> it's getting rough. I like this because of the butterflies. $3.99, that's not bad. If it was a little bit better condition, I don't do a lot of this luster wear, typically from Japan, but the butterflies are cute. Let me see if I can find something else for us to look at. Pretty Baltic. I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. $5.99. Oh, that's pretty... Oh, that's really nice. Oh. Big one too. And I looked at all of these. They're like, like that's fifty dollars. So, mm. and I did look at this, you guys, but it has a chip. It's fourteen ninety nine, and it has a chip. And I just don't do a lot with this. There's so much of it. Let's see, Carl's Casablanca, Carlo Carlsbad. Oh no. 1999. I'm not real familiar with that kind of stuff, that like Victorian looking, but I don't really deal with that kind of stuff too much. There's so much of it in the market where my boots are. You know, I'll, I'll usually take a look at it just in case it's something super epic or, you know, learn something. I'll take a look at it. Ooh, what is that? Hang on, what is this? Let's see what this is. That's well constructed. Super. It's not lined, but they did finish the seams. Babette. Oh, that's why. That's probably a. Oh, look at it. It's a fit and flare. I might need to get that. That's about a $35 to $55 item. Resale value. A lot more than that, not resale. I better get that. Not really in the mood to look at clothes, <laughs> but that's a cute little oh, LL bean. Yeah, that's why the fabric's nice and soft. See, it's an LL bean. You can just kind of look at fabrics. I tell you guys that, and I know some of you are like, "Wow, well, what am I looking for?" I know, and it's so hard to kind of explain. Like, just start doing it, and you'll see. And because I don't really know how to explain it, like you, you can just tell a better quality fabric after a while. You know, you don't want any pilling and all that stuff. This looks like an anth possible anthropology. No. But it's cute. It's kind of got Johnny Was. Johnny Was does a youth line. I gotta, I gotta re up myself and all that. They've got a couple of lines. Oh, J Was Workshop. No, JW Workshop is a Johnny Was more affordable teenage or youth line junior and then there's um something that's like good like for the anthropology crowd and it is that label is pete and greta dang that's cute look at that cute little thing 
Which is that? <laughs> That's a cute little thing. Six ninety nine. Wish that was my size. The music is getting kind of loud in here. I think I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna pick up sis. We're gonna go over across town, you guys. So it's time for me to pick her up. Yeah, I think I'll get this too. And that little cap thing for you guys. And I do have that paperweight and that necklace up front. So, I'm sorry this was short and sweet. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun anyways. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.